Hello. So I've just entered the Icarus X UK. Uh, zoinks. I know that the uh, the training videos that I'm making currently are coming out every Thursday. Uh, but I'm in this transitional period now where some flights are training and some are just flights. I'm starting to do some of the sightseeing stuff that I've got listed. Once I've done the uh, 2000 foot engine off then basically the training one will be complete and that sort of playlist will be done. But I think I've got about another eight or nine of those backed up, ready to sort of put out. So in the meantime, uh, this Icarus stuff, which is in three weeks from now, that will uh, that will start bleeding in so there'll be a bit of a crossover in timelines but we can deal with that but this Icarus race had been on my calendar since before I started training I wanted to set myself a goal to start with to aim for and it's been on the calendar I've sort of forgotten about it I didn't think I was ever gonna make it but they just announced the course a few days ago and that got me interested again so I've entered I had an hour-long chat this morning with Andy Bex who is uh, done it and won it before get some knowledge off him what I need to know about my motor fuel burn and race etc so the Icarus race itself not the Icarus X is a massive cross-country paramotoring journey for uh, I think five days I wasn't aware of it until Tucker got entered it uh, it was in America down sort of through the deserts and canyons of the States but the team that organise all this stuff, the Adventurists, so I'll put a link below, are a mad bunch of people from the south of England and they organise all kinds of these crazy challenges, so perhaps across the desert in a tuk-tuk and all sorts of stuff like that. Have a look at their website. If you're one of those people who's into that stuff, then they're, they're the people that sort of facilitate it for people. So the main Icarus X race this year, 2018, is uh, in South Africa which would probably be amazing but it costs an awful lot of money to uh, enter and to get there and to get your motor and stuff over there and all that stuff but they also do what they call the X series which is a series of just two day events uh, all around the world Australia America through in the UK I don't know where else they are you can check their site so the UK one is 160 miles just about down in uh, Devon and Somerset, south of the UK, and I think I've managed to make it work around my job and looking after my kids, you know, school runs and things like that. So the way it sits, I'll shoot a wedding on a Thursday, Friday morning, I'll drop the kids at school and then drive straight down to the south of England, about two and a half hours down there, uh, pilot briefings at two, take off hopefully at four. Uh, this all depends on the weather. If it's cooled off, it'll be on the next weekend, uh, which I can't do. So Andy's been a great help. He said I can tag along with him, you know, be party to all his planning, etc. So suddenly I've got to start thinking about it. I've, um, I'm just on my way down to a local camping store, getting some Fitbit steps in, just to see what they've got. I think I'll probably need a real lightweight, small sleeping bag. Uh, and a tarp to cover my motor and wing because there will be a night out. That's unless I can find a and b or a travel lodge or something that I can land next to and stay in. I don't know how all this works with permission to launch from places because you've literally got to land in places uh, for fuel. There's a couple of checkpoints. So there's two classes in the race, race class and adventure class. Uh, race class is for those boys with the fast wings, carrying all the fuel, just covering the ground, getting around in the quickest time possible. Uh, they've got to be unsupported, you know, no friends on the ground, no one they can rely on apart from themselves. I think you're allowed to get help from like passers-by and stuff like that. Um, adventure class is a bit different, but I think I'll do adventure class so that I haven't got the stress of trying to get around fast. I can't go around fast anyway with my wing, it's not a speedy wing. Uh, so adventure class, just try and complete the route. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. Let's uh, make a little video, see how it goes. So this will come out in between the uh, training videos, which are, because YouTube likes regular content, they're going to continue. They're going to continue to come out every Thursday until training's done. I've completed my last test. 
I'm thinking, even though I've not properly planned it, that I'll have a... I, I won't carry away to heat food or anything, I'll just... It's only been one night over, so I'll just carry snacks and stuff as much as I can. Maybe in a duffel across my chest, like uh, Tucker did in his Icarus race. A paramotor's not really designed for carrying luggage. Uh, and then minimal, a sleeping bag and a tarp to cover everything. So I'll maybe look for some small and light camping food. Uh, just in case of emergency really, it'd be great to stop at uh, you know, a hotel or a bed and breakfast. You know, so you get a good night's sleep etc. Andy was saying he ended up staying out two nights and didn't sleep a wink those two nights. So that sort of stuff affects your take off the following morning especially when you're carrying a load of extra weight, tiredness, it's all danger really, so I guess you've got to mitigate that as much as possible. But anyway, little adventure, let's get on it. Let's see what these guys have got for us. Nothing is the answer. That shop is for day trippers, barbecuists, and children camping out in the garden. No serious equipment at all in there. There's a uh, there's another camping store about 40 minutes from me. So I'll uh, I'll give that a go later in the week. Probably good to sit down and draw up a list of things I think I might need before that anyway. So see you there.